Hello, Pocono Mountains and Lake Wall and Paul Pack region. Bridget Gelderman here, Realtor with Davis R. Chant. All right, this one is not really a home tip video uh, at all. It has nothing to do with real estate. This is how overwhelmed do us parents feel today? Um, I don't know about you, but I woke up this morning seeing all this candy and thinking, what am I gonna do with it? My kids are way too smart for me to move it out of the house at this point. So they are gonna come home from school in a few hours and wanna eat it. They already ate it yesterday and they were feeling pretty bad this morning when they woke up. I am sure I am not alone in this. And to the parents last night at our little Halloween gathering, I am so sorry I dumped all of that candy in their bags. So, 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 so sorry. So I Googled today what to do with leftover Halloween candy and there are 25 million results. I couldn't believe it. There's other options for them to not just eat it today when they get home. So here's number one, freeze it, take it, drop it right in the freezer. I kind of like that and I feel like it'll last a pretty long time so we can use it throughout the year. Uh, so that's a good idea. Next is make some do-it-yourself trail mix. Okay, I can go with that, especially for the chocolate stuff. I don't think it'll work for dum-dums, but that would work. Bring it to the Thanksgiving table. Oh yes, all of our relatives would love to see our leftover Halloween candy show up at Thanksgiving. This is one of my favorites, and I think it might be one of yours too. Turn it into a science experiment. I can't believe how many science experiments were out there when I started looking. There's a whole entire section on Pinterest dedicated to Halloween candy science experiments. Um, save it and decorate gingerbread houses. I never thought of this one. I should have, and I'm going to pull out anything that would work for, de for decorating gingerbread houses around the holidays. Um, birthday party. So if you freeze it, then take it out and use all this candy in the pinata at the birthday party. I thought that one was pretty brilliant. Um, give it away. This one does not work in my house at all. It doesn't work. I can't do it. Uh, it will be very risky for me to try and even hide some of this and give it away. Um, send it overseas. This I thought was interesting. Um, I'm not sure if um, some of the military personnel like Halloween candy, but this is a good idea. I guess there's Operation Shoebox and you can put it in there and send it overseas. I haven't done much research, so I don't know if this would work, but just the thought. Use it in a recipe. There's a lot of Halloween candy recipes out there. Again, I had no idea, but I thought that that was interesting. Maybe you can even freeze some of the stuff for the holidays. Oh, I like this one. This one will not work though. My kids are uh, eight and 11 and they will not go for this, but the younger ones might introduce the candy fairy. And uh, you leave the sweets out at night and the candy fairy swaps them out for a toy or a gift. I thought that was pretty good. Again, it's never gonna work in my house. And what's the last one? Oh, the last one is to eat it yourself, but that is not a good option at all in my household, but it might work in some of yours. So those are some tips. I thought that they were pretty good. I'll post some of these links on my website so you can go there um, and check them out. But thank you so much for watching my video, for liking my page on uh, YouTube. I'm sorry, for subscribing to my page on YouTube and liking my page on Facebook. Have a great day. Bye.